Hey everyone, it's Matt, and today I am going to be making a 3D movie using a little program known as Microsoft 3D Movie Maker. Some of you may already know that I am a fan of uh, video games and PC games from the 90s and so on, seeing as that's the time when I was a kid. And perhaps out of all the different PC applications from that time, one of the most memorable for me is Microsoft 3D Movie Maker. And what this is, is it's basically what it sounds like. It's a program where you can take a bunch of 3D characters and objects and animate them with your own sound effects and so on to create a 3D movie. And it's got lots of little quirks and 90s-ish style of its own and I was feeling nostalgic and decided, hey, why not make an ASMR video where I show you guys a 3D movie and uh, maybe make a 3D movie uh, that is basically an ASMR video. I actually don't really have much of a plan going into this, but my current thought is that I will make an, an ASMR video inside the game. Though, of course, the recording quality of the microphone uh, recordings in the game is lacking, so we'll see how that goes. But anyway, let's get started with the uh, basic introduction to the game, which is Imaginopolis. Imaginopolis is the world in which the game is set. So here we go. Mick Z is quite a character, as you'll see. This music I'm not sure if you can hear it right now, but this music is basically permanently etched into my brain. Not that that's a bad thing. It's good nostalgia. I can't, I can't properly hum at this quiet volume, but I'm trying. So we can see here is going to take a shopping cart on rails all the way to Imaginopolis. Bit of a uh, cumbersome transportation system if you ask me, but I don't make the rules around Imaginopolis. Got Super Z. Your amigo Carlos. Still very clearly just Mixi in an outfit. And now he's a cheesecake. How he transformed into a cheesecake, I don't know. Maybe it's the power of magic. Or just a very grand illusion. So he's holding a talent book page here. One of the other things you can do in this game, other than making movies, is explore the theater. Which has many different rooms and so on. And by clicking on various things, you can find talent book pages describing the various actors you can use in the game. And the goal is to find them all, though I don't think I ever did that as a kid. There are a few I could never find. I could probably find it much more easily uh, today, but here we have Mig Z sitting in the box office, rocking out. I remember loving this scene as a kid, and I still kind of like it as an adult. That's a movie theater I want to visit. Imagine a real-life Imaginopolis movie theater. Hmm, hey, hello this there. Never happened. Welcome to the theater. Would you like to see a movie or make a movie? You choose. So we're going to make a movie. Hey, this way to the backstage. Da -da -da -da! Here we are backstage. There's a ton of things you can do back here. He's gonna tell us about what we can do backstage. Or the talent book in the ideas room. If you're ready to make a movie of your own, you'll find all the tools you need in the studio. Hey, Melanie. Yo, Blue Boy. Giving another tour? Yeah. I, I feel like, to a degree, 
this game is partly what inspired me to get into video creation for stuff like YouTube. Well, I'm gonna make a movie. You can make a movie with Melanie, who will assist you and so on. Get an idea for a movie, which will just give you random ideas. Or you can just go from scratch, which is what I'm going to do here. Now I will say that it's been quite a long time since I really played this, so I've probably forgotten how to use a lot of it, but I'll figure it out while we're making this video here. So you start by choosing a scene from a selection of predetermined uh, settings. And there are multiple angles you can choose from and go between uh, with each scene here. So let's take a look. We have a city here, kind of a building, office building, interior, a diner, kind of a, I'm not sure what you call that, maybe a mission, a uh, kind of a restaurant, a cave, a haunted mansion, the interior of the haunted mansion, another room in the haunted mansion. There's a lot of haunted mansion stuff. It's one of my favorites. Then kind of a mad scientist lab, an airplane, and then just, this is kind of just blank walls. Like I think there's a sky background in here and so on. So how about we do the, okay, um, I'm going to start yeah, let's do the Haunted Mansion here. And by default there is music that plays. Um, it'll continue as I actually make the movie, but... So anyway, we have the scene here, and then uh, I think it's this here. Yeah, camera angles. You can choose which angle you want to show. We're going to start here with the classic camera angle, don't going down this walkway to the Haunted Mansion. Some of you may recognize this from a video with a bunch of rats singing while walking down this, about how they're the rats. And there's a giant rat that makes all the rules. Great video. This is where that came from. Anyway, let's start by choosing an actor. So we have all these different people and even a baby some wide variety of options here and of course we have the rat and the cat and the dog just because I feel like the rat's a great idea always let's put a rat here should we have the rat be the one who makes an ASMR video? I don't know anyway so you can drag the rat around and kind of just put him wherever you want there is kind of a 3D depth to the scenes here so if I move away, he gets smaller, but uh, I don't know if it's glitchiness with this running on Windows 10, but he is kind of jumping around a little, either way, let's start with the rat right here, and each actor has his own set of animations that you can use, so let's look here at the actions, so if you click actions and then click an actor, you'll see the options, such as run, walk, grow, grow fast, shrink, spin, you get the idea. Some of them are pretty weird, but I remember having a lot of fun with them as a kid. Let's do run. He's going to run up to the haunted mansion. So to make the animation happen and record frames, you just click and drag, or click and hold really, and it'll happen. So we're going to do it right now. He's a little slow, unfortunately, but if we go back to the beginning, you can see what we just recorded if I hit play. I think I'm going to do some different music here. So if we go to sounds, um, I think if you take a sound and replace an existing one, it'll just get rid of it, so let's try that. I want to find the song that's in that rats video. 
I know it's one of these here. Give me a second. Where is it? I feel like I know it by name, but I'm not sure. not fitting at all. That would be fun. Spooky. Alright. Gotta choose one here. If you click the actor, they'll appear in that scene. Yeah, you can move them. There we go. So let's put him here and have him running into the haunted mansion. There he goes. It says run, but he doesn't move very far. So now what we can do is choose a new scene and transition into the interior of the Haunted Mansion. So let's get the rat back and put him right here. Alright, let's have him run up to the camera. Now he's further away than he looks. Let's undo that. We're going to start with him way up close. I have an idea, but let's do this. And now, here, okay. He doesn't really have any uh, kind of talking movements, but I do want to make him talk, so let's just hold it down here. Now if we go back, alright, now I'm going to have him say something here, let's hope this records my voice properly, but if I go, I think it's here, yeah, if I click the microphone, I'm going to make this ASMR right one. And I'm going to record myself. Here we go. He's going to say... Huh. I heard someone was making an ASMR video in here. I wonder where they went. Let's see how that sounds. Alright, so unfortunately it's not picking up the mic that I'm using for this video, so... It would be quite a bit of a effort to get things working properly, and I'd probably have to redo parts of this video, so 
What I'm going to do instead is make something even sillier using the pre-recorded voice lines. So, let's see what we want to have the rat say. Hmm, I don't know. I'll check to see if there's time before dinner. Alright, he's going to say, hmm, I don't know. I'll check to see if there's time before dinner. Hmm, I don't know. I'll check to see... Why is he going to say that? I don't know. But let's see what it's like. Hmm, I don't know. I'll check to see if there's time before dinner. Okay, so now I'm going to cut to a different angle. We're going to go to the kitchen here. And in the kitchen, we are going to have the skeleton. And we're going to have the skeleton. So I want it to look like he's making dinner or something. The closest thing is probably a walk, if I have him walk in place. Uh, let me move him back, back a bit here. Okay, so now he's going to be making dinner, and then he's going to stop, and what's he going to say? Yeah, I see the mummy right now? <laughs> Gotta get to the party before Charlie. What's that noise? Yeah, what's that noise? What's that noise? What's that noise? So now he's going to be at rest. And look over here. Let's see what that looks like. Let's start from here. What's that noise? Okay. So now, we are going to actually, here's an idea. I'm going to go here. We're going to take the rat, and suddenly, the rat is going to grow huge. Here it comes. So now the rat's all big. And now we're going to go back here. And part way through, we're going to have the skeleton. The skeleton can't talk, unfortunately. So he's going to start running, and as he starts running, we're going to have him say, Oh no, a rat! Oh no, a rat! Oh no, a rat! So here we go. Oh no, a rat! The skeleton's afraid of the rat. But the rat is going to chase after him. Here we go. He's gonna, I guess he stays small, which brings me to another thing you can do, which is resize things. So let's just make him big. I believe that's the right size. And now he can run. Here he comes. He's gonna walk right through the table. And he catches up with him pretty well. Let's not have him walk through the table. Let's have him go around it. He's kind of going through the table, but that's okay. So let's go back and see what that looks like. Oh no, a rat! So there goes the rat. And now, let's get this angle here. And this guy is going to try running away. Let's actually start him a little further away so it makes more sense. And he's going to run around the table. 
but he's going to be too slow, I think. So, let's see what happens when the rat catches up. The rat's going to walk here, okay. Okay, so actually I'm going to overwrite this. And so as soon as the rat touches the skeleton, the skeleton is going to shrink. No, we're not going to do that. I actually think I want to have the skeleton get squashed. Because why not? The first rule of 3D Movie Maker is that nothing has to make sense. And oftentimes things will not make any sense, but that's part of the fun. The skeleton melted. And then we can have him... Uh, that'll be that. But as the skeleton melts, let's see here. As the skeleton melts, we're going to have the rat do something. The rat's going to run like he's chomping on him. Oh no, a rat. So, what can we have the rat say at this moment? Each totem on the pole is a sim- Hi, that's a rat! Surprise! Yeah, surprise. Surprise! And then a few frames in, the skeleton will say, ah. 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 And we're also going to have, let's see, is there like an eating sound? How about mutant wolf? No, not mutant wolf. Where is like an eating sound? Mm. Lava mutant? No, we need like a sound effect. Though I do want to use that sound at some point because it's pretty funny. That kind of works, it's almost like he's eating bones. So let's see what that looks and sounds like. Alright, so now, let's go to Let's go to this angle of someone coming down the stairs. And for that, we're going to have this man. This man is going to be over here. And we're actually going to have him facing the other way at first. be walking slowly and then he notices where is it um, mad sad lie down yell he's gonna yell okay and when he yells what's he gonna say Whoops. He is going to say Cut! That's a wrap! 
cut, that's a wrap. Because this is really just a movie. A it's a movie within a movie. Okay. And so now... We're just gonna go somewhere completely different, because why not? Alright. So now that we're in this room... Let's do this angle, and have this guy, I'm going to call him the director, sitting at the chair here. And some other people. Uh, I could make them sit, but I don't know if they can talk while sitting, let's see. Yeah, talk sitting. But, okay. Where's just sitting? I think if I just make that a s No, undo that. Let's have her turn a bit and move her a bit. And get a few more people over here. This guy is going to be sitting too. And now, how about... This person. These are all people working on the movie, we'll say. And finally, the last person walking on a movie, or working on a movie, is Dracula. Dracula will be sitting at the table too. Let's move him a bit. Here we go. I'm going to have this guy saying something. What's he gonna say? Hmm, I don't know. I'll check to see if there's time before dinner. What's that noise? What do you want to be, Bongo? I can transform you into anything. Okay? Let's get Oh, I may I see the mummy right now? May I see the mummy right now? May I see the mummy right now? Why not? May I see the mummy right now? This is especially pointless and silly when you can't record your own voices. <laughs> it's pretty funny. May I see the mummy right now? May I see the mummy right now? And now Dracula is going to respond with... Got it. Yeah, where's Charlie? Yeah, where's Charlie? Yeah, where's Charlie? Yes, that is what Dracula sounds like. Yeah, where's Charlie? And now, let's see. Ooh, this place is spooky. Ooh, this place is spooky. Ooh, this make place her is say spooky. that. Talk sitting. Ooh, this place is spooky. And now we're gonna have a sound effect. Let's see. Safe unlock. Now, how about door open? Door open. Yeah. As the door opens, they all turn. I'm gonna make that just a talk sitting thing. That didn't work. How about that? Yeah. Dracula turned. And this lady turned. Now, let's 
what's going to happen is something entirely unexpected. We are going to have a baby here, but not just any baby, it is going to be a, uh, not like that, but a very large stretched upward baby. Actually, he's not going to be stretched upward. I don't think. Let's just make him really big. And what he's going to do is He's going to laugh. I'm going to give him the monster laugh. Ha 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 ha. His head's going through the wall. And uh, I forgot to put the sound on there, but let's get that now. And that's going to be over in the sound effects. Where's the monster laugh? The laugh mutant. There we go. And then we're gonna cut. Whoops. Yeah, see the money right now. Then we're gonna cut to these people again, just staring blankly. How do I make them stare blankly? This guy's gonna talk. What he's going to say is, let's see. Okay, meet at the graveyard gate at midnight tonight. Charlie, don't be late. It does kind of work, because they said, where's Charlie, and they appeared. Okay, meet at the grave. okay, meet at the graveyard gate. Okay. Okay, okay. Got to make him move a bit more. Let's go back a bit. So he's laughing. Okay, meet at the graveyard gate at midnight tonight. Charlie, don't be late. So I accidentally made that part way through. So let me redo the sound there. Okay. I think I can just remove it here. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Okay. 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 Meet at the graveyard gate at midnight tonight. Charlie, don't be late. Okay. So now at this point, we're going to go back outside to the graveyard gate. figure maybe in the trillions. I'll trade a magic trick for a vase. I'll trade a magic trick for I'll a trade vase. A magic trick for a vase. Because why not? Talking. And now the baby's going to say something. Each totem on the pole is a symbolic representation of one family. Wow. What's that noise? What do you want to be, Bongo? I can transform you into anything, as long as the recipe is in my book. Hey, what's up, Mimi? 
How about what, what do you want do you to be, want, Bongo? What do you want to be, Bongo? Alright. He's gonna be talking. Let's go back a bit and see if that looks good. I'll trade a magic trick for a vase. What do you want to be, Bongo? I can transform you into anything, as long as the recipe is in my book. I need a bit more of an animation there. As long as the recipe is in my book. And this guy's going to respond with... The dollar figure may be in the trillions. Hmm, I don't know. I'll check to see if there's time before dinner. Hmm, I don't know. I'll check to see if there's time before dinner. He's going to be thinking. But the baby does not want to wait. So instead, he's going to do something here. What's he going to do? Is there a laugh? Yeah. So we're going to have him laugh. We're going to make him do the mutant laugh again. Or maybe the maniac. We're going to make him do the insane laugh. Alright. Hoo 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 ha ha ha. And so now, what's going to happen is something very strange. So, now what you can do is insert objects, but first let me get a pose for the baby here. This might be a little tricky to pull off. Okay, here we go. Watch this. So what I'm going to do is make the baby well, you'll see. So, you have different shapes you can use as well. I'm going to do this cylinder here. And I'm going to tilt it. Just a bit. Not that. enough. So it's going to be like a, a bolt coming out of his foot. Let's do a sound effect here. it touches him, it's going to disappear, and what's going to happen is we're going to have this explosion here, and as the explosion happens, you're going to see what happens. So let's go back here. And at this point, this guy is going to, not that, but disappear and be replaced with a cat. is going 
going to grow big. And as he grows big, he is going to meow. I assume there's a meow sound here. Let's see. Cat meow. Yeah, there we go. Meow. And now, the baby is going to walk over to the cat. And is there like a petting thing he can do? I don't know. No, not that. They can dance. They can both dance. How about we do that? And at this point, let's do a new song, too. Oh yeah, this is it. This is the song I was looking for. The rat song. Let's have him dancing to that. Can the cat dance? He can walk slowly, close enough. But we gotta make him big. And let's turn him around. And now he can dance. this up with um yeah let's finish this up with the uh one last shot here let's get this guy out of the way and we'll just have them continuing to dance movies ever made in 3D Movie Maker, but that's kind of the fun of it. No, not the baby. My cat. Keep them a bit separated there. And then at the last second, Let's do something a bit random. We're gonna have a giant dog, like a really giant dog. Is that as big as you can make him? Let's have him walking. Just walking on air. And that's it. And as he shows up, let's get a bit of a sound effect. What will the sound effect be? Or maybe a voice. The dollar figure may be in the tri The dollar figure may be in the trillion. There we go. And now for the very last shot, let's go to this uh, space. Let's go to space. And do th some 3D text, because we haven't done that yet. The and, or is it, that's the kind of thing I would put when I was like five, six years old. You can, yeah, let's do it, Comic Sans. It can be in different shapes and so on. Yeah, 
different patterns too. I like the pink. Let's go with the pink. And that'll be right there, and you can animate the text. Let's do a wave. And actually I'm gonna have some music here. that. So let's save it and watch our movie. Let's save it as the greatest ASMR video ever made. Objectively this movie is, so why not? So now we can go to the theater and watch it. Would you like to see a movie? Yes. Check to see if there's time before dinner. What's that noise? Oh no, a rat! Surprise! Ah! Cut! That's a rat! I see the mummy right now? Yeah, where's Charlie? Ooh, this place is spooky. <laughs> okay, meet at the graveyard gate at midnight tonight. Charlie, don't be late. I'll trade a magic trick for a vase. What do you want to be, Bongo? I can transform you into anything, as long as the recipe is in my book. Hmm, I don't know. I'll check to see if there's time before dinner. <laughs> The dollar figure may be in the trillions. Hey, that was excellent. What should we do now? That was excellent indeed. So let's finish this video up by walking around the theater just to take a look. 
and let's explore. Click the place where you want to go. So, what would you like to do? Let's turn around. So, what would you... All right, that just goes back so, inside. Let's go to the lobby. Ciao, welcome to the lobby. Mmm, buttered popcorn. Thanks. I'll put this page back in the talent book. So as to you see can see, the you've collected, the for the you can Snack click various right. things to get talent book pages. Here's McZee at the snack bar. Uh, get your popcorn, ice cream, hot dogs, candy. Here's another page. And another one. And yet another one. I think you get the idea. Anyway. I think I'm actually going to finish this video up here, but thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll have a good night's sleep. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.